Blog Talk Radio. This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a broadcast that brings you word and encouragement for your soul. We want you to remember that you don't have no worries. All you need is faith in God. Bustin' Loose in Faith airs Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, without further ado, let's get into this broadcast. And may God bless you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised. All praise, all glory, all honor belongs to him. This night and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Fathers, we're praying for the grace and come to you humbling ourselves under thy mighty hand here tonight. In the name of Jesus, as we get out of the way that you may have your way. In Jesus' name. Now, how did the hand cavalry cross? And I just have to click. Use us, Father God, for thy glory. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. We bind up all technical difficulties, anything that's trying to hinder the word of God from going forth. Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have the Bible, we would like you to open up. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd like you to open up to the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verse 22. Then the word of God reads, While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, night and day, ceases shall not cease. Also here in the book of Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. God is good and worthy to be praised. Here we thank God. That's the scripture that we'll start out with. Just for the next few minutes, I want to talk about you cannot reap what you have not sown. You cannot reap what you have not sown. Brothers and sisters in Christ, beloved, you cannot reap what you have not sown. As believers of Christ, there are several things that we can sow and reap bountifully, aside from using godly service and money. And one of those ways is prayer. Yes, the Bible says here in Luke 18, verse 1, the cause of the verse, that men ought always to pray and to not faint or lose heart. Yes, as a believer in Christ, child of God, prayer is not just for divine fellowship. It is also an investment made in the kingdom of God. You see, prayer is having a spiritual communication or communion with God, or simply talking to God, having a private time between you and him. Again, in Luke 18, one verse, the be of the verse, it says that men are always to pray and not to faint or lose heart. See, Jesus here was teaching a parable, and he was teaching us here indirectly to never give up on prayer, to pray even if we have not seen the manifestation of what we are praying about. We are thankful and grateful that God is a covenant God. He's a, a God that keeps his covenant. Yes, yes, we do everything in faith. 
believe in God and doing everything by faith, God will honor his part. The question is, will you honor yours? We are reminded here in Matthew 11 and 12. Again, in the B clause of the verse, it says, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. As a child of God, if the violent take what belongs to him or to her by force in the kingdom of God, then prayer becomes a sworn tool for your submitted request in heaven. Yes, beloved, you know what you want from God. So invest into it by using prayer. You should always pray and don't think. Pray when things are going good and when things are not going so good. Yes, believe a crash. Another powerful tool to use in sowing is your time. You see, everybody has 24 hours each day. God has ordained it that way. Some of us, we use our time half-heartedly. We use our time very, and some of us use it very wisely. So, beloved, the reason God has given each person 24 hours in a day is that he has given everybody an equal opportunity to maximize one's life and to impact before ex- ex- before exiting, before leaving this world. You see, believe of Christ, if you want to master how to use your time very effectively, you must follow what God has called you to do and not what others demand from you. In that way, you will become a person of value. Yes, beloved, always remember this in 2024, that God did not create you to do everything. No, God created you in Christ to do specific things in in relation to your purpose for living. So do things that will bring glory to God's name. That way you are updating your record of good works in heaven and living life purposely. Another thing that you can show is is work. Child of God, work is what God has created for you to do. But a job is what you are trained to do. Yes, you can always change your job, but you cannot change your work. Because here, because God, the author and finisher, God, the creator of all things, he has fixed your destiny. Here in the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 4 through 6, it says, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the blood. Yes, people of God, both a job and a work are all tools for seeds. Yes, work 
is what God creates you to do. But a job is what you are trained to do. So, child of God, when you have a job, you get money in order to take care of yourself, your family, and other things. Even if you do not know your purpose, yet that job can still sustain you to live and to become productive. However, when you work, when you work, you fulfill your purpose. Here in the book of Psalms 128 and 2, it says, But thou shalt eat the fruit of the labor of thy hand, the acorns of the earth. You see, seed time and harvest will never cease. You can reap. You cannot reap what you have not sown. God watches over his word to perform it. So, beloved, when God created the first, when God created the first living thing, he gave it the ability to grow and also to multiply. You see, through the principle of sowing and reaping, life as we know it begins by that principle. And the burden of your life has operated by that same principle. That same principle contained today, even today, in 2024. As a child of God, in order to overcome life's problems and to receive your potential in life and to see your life become fruitful, replenished, and multiplied in your health, your finance, your spiritual renewal, and in your family, your entire being. You must be determined to follow God's law of seed time and harvest. Yes, beloved, sow the seed of his promise in the soil of your need. You cannot reap what you have not sown. Again, we are reminded of what Genesis 8, verse 22 says, while the earth remains. Seed time and hot, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not see. So, beloved, while the earth remains, while the earth remains, let us do our part. Let us remember the principle that God has already set in motion. There will always be, there will always be seed time and harvest in this world and the world to come. Yes, beloved, while the earth remains, the rhythm of time, season, weather, and temperature will continue. It will continue on as they are always have, and seed time and harvest will continue on without interruption. So God promised that we will always be able to come on these things because sowing and reaping is an eternal principle, and it will always be so in the spiritual realm and in the earthly realm, you cannot reap what you have not sown. So, beloved, in order to reap a harvest, you have to sow a seed. Whether whether it's seed, excuse me, whether it's fruit or vegetable or grain, or 
if you want to produce food to eat, you must take those particular seeds and plant and plant them in the ground that have been prepared for that purpose. Then you must water and continue to water the seed and the plant as it as they grow. And also keep the weed and bugs out of the area where you have planted. Beloved God is the one who grows the plant and brings forth the increase. Also be aware of this. Even now in 2024, God can do nothing for our harvest unless we first plant that seed in the ground. When we look at an illustration here in Mark, Oh, verse 26 through 29. The Amplified version of the Bible says, and he says, so is the kingdom of God is like a man who scattered seed upon the ground and then continued sleeping and rising earth and rising night and day while the seeds sprout and grow and increase. He knows not how, but the earth produces, acting by itself. First, the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the seed or in the ear. Him in the ear. But when the grain is ripe and immediately permitted, the reaper put in the sickle because the harvest stands ready. One thing you must learn in 2024, one thing you must learn to do is to have patience. Child of God, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. So keep keep the faith and have the faith and the commitment to the word of God to keep doing what you know to do. Do not allow the devil to discourage you or try to talk you out of the promises that God has made to you to hear in the book of Galatians chapter 6 verses 9 and 10 it says and let us not grow weary while doing good but while doing good for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart as we have Therefore, opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. We are reminded here in the book of of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 11. It says, so shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. People of God, every seed produces after his own kind. For example, Apple seed will produce apple. Corn seed will produce corn. So we have to always remember, even now, 
here in the book of Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. It says, do not be deceived. God is not mouth. Well, well, whatever a man sow, sow it, that he will also reap. The harvest is, is certain to come or to happen. Yes, spiritually, the word of God let us know in First Corinthians 3, verses 6 and 7. I have planted a power of water, but God gave the increase so that neither he who plants is anything, nor he that water, but he that give it the increase. So believer of Christ, if you are faithful to plow, to plant, to water, and to weed, you will see the the harvest the results. Remember, you cannot reap what you have not sown. Yes, God is a fake God. And he does everything by faith. We are reminded that in Hebrews 11 and 1 that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrew 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. Them that come to God must believe that he is who he say he is, and he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Yes, our God is a faith God, and he does everything by faith. So we as his children, Created in his image, we do what we see our Father do. So be God, and so in faith, expecting that harvest to come or to happen. Again, we're reminded of what Genesis 8, verse 22 says, while the earth remains, see time and harvest, cold and heat, Summer and winter, and day and night, day and night shall never cease. You see, the God that we serve is a covenant God, a covenant-keeping God, and he keeps his covenant with his people from generation to generation. That's the type of God that we serve. Beloved, the word covenant means an agreement made between God and his people in which God makes promises to his people and he he requires certain conduct from them. For example, God made a covenant with Noah because here in Genesis, he says for them for him to go and prepare an ark for the saving of, of his of his family and household and household. We know about the flood. God warned Noah again to prepare an ark for the ark for the safety of him and his family. And when Noah prepared the ark, people was mocking him. People was making fun of him. But Noah kept working, and he kept preparing. Then one day, the flood came, and the water filled the whole earth, and it rose up 40 days and 40 nights. And the people remembered what Noah said. And there came a knocking to the Ark of the Covenant, the Ark of the, the Ark that Noah had prepared. Hallelujah. But the door was shut 
because God shut the door. And once the door was shut, was shut Noah couldn't open it anymore. And we know the story, how Noah and his family were saved. And after an amount of time, they landed. And God remembered Noah. And here in the book of Genesis, chapter 9, verse 13, he gave a sign to not destroy the earth by water anymore. And this is what he said. I do set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. Beloved, the rainbow we see today, even in 2024, is a reminder from God that he is still keeping it, that covenant. God also established a covenant with Abraham in Genesis 22, verse 17 and 18, which says that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, thy descendant, as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gates of your enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Because thou have obeyed my voice. Also, beloved, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has established an everlasting covenant with David, saying, that the seed of David shall not cease to be blessed and to be rulers in the land of, of Israel. God kept his promises despite of unimaginable things that the seed of David have done. Yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, God values his covenant with his people. Yes, God still keeps covenant with individuals, families, communities, organizations, nations. Even now, in 2024, our God is a covenant-keeping God. So, beloved, everything you are doing, either good or bad, is a form of sowing. You must always be conscious of what you are doing. We are reminded. We are reminded in Luke. Hallelujah. We are, we are reminded that God still is a covenant keeping God in 2024. Hello? Hello? Are you able to hear me? No, sir. Speak up, please. Hello? Where you belong 
courage That's what the song says No matter what the problem He will be right there saying yeah Sorry, sir. Um, I just came across your show on Blog Talk, and I saw that you had uh, prophetess, I believe, and I was just seeking a word from the Lord. Uh, can you can you can you repeat yourself? Um, you're breaking up a lot. Yeah, sorry. So uh, I I came across your show on Blog Talk Radio, and I saw that you guys had a prophetess um, on your program, and. I was just seeking a word from the Lord. I was just going through a difficult time in life and seeking a word from God. Oh, okay. All right. All right. My name my name is Apostle Dudley Tebow and my and my wife is a prophetess. Prophetess Lisa Tebow. This is this is, is, is our our broad our broadcast. And I don't mind I, I don't mind praying praying for you and see what the Lord if the Lord give me a word then I'll give it to you. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, and we really, and we really, we really appreciate you, uh, you know, coming coming across the air, the air, and in, in the, in the to, to listen to the radio broadcast. You know, it's not by it's not by accident. So, uh, what is your yes, what is your name, sir? If I, if I may ask. My name is Manasseh. Randy. Randy? No, no, Manasse. Manasse, Manasse. Okay, all right. The Bible, the Bible says the ready two of us come in agreement, such and anything you don't hear to be done about heaven, about heaven and Father, which is in heaven. So we're gonna, so we're gonna touch and agree that that God's perfect will for your life would be would be done. Okay. Amen. Thank you, sir. For, the first, the first thing I want to know is help you. Have you ever gave your life to Christ? Uh, yep, yes, sir. Okay, great, great. Father, Father, right now in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, I lift up this young man up to up to you right now. And I and I thank you, Lord, because it's not by accident that you have allowed him to come across the radio broadcast. A matter a matter of fact, it is an encouragement to us to 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 to, to to bless him, to let us know how effective the word of God can be. 
Now, Father, now, Father God, I lift them up to you, and I agree with him on what, what the struggles that he's gone through. You, you have said in your, in your word that in time of need, you're a God that is a helper. You're a God that is, that is, that, that is able, willing, and ready to meet our each and every need. I pray for him, Lord, that you would strengthen him in this hour in all areas of his life, physically, mentally, emotionally, in Jesus' precious name. I pray for I pray for him and his family that each and every need would be would be met. I think that Philippians four thirteen says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Supplies each and each and every need according to Philippians four and nineteen. Now, 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 precious Father, I sense in my spirit that that heavenly, that heavenly Father, you want to direct His footsteps. You want to help Him. So whatever He's going through, Lord, I I haven't gotten a I haven't gotten a, a word from God concerning the issue, but I do sense that He needs help in the area in the area of Fellowship in his marriage, in the, in what in what he's going he's gone through, whether married or not, I lift them up to you, Lord. I ask you for reconciliation to come. We don't know uh, no, 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 what we don't we don't know, but you know, and that's all that we need to know, because prayer is essential. Prayer is the key. You have said in your word to pray to to pray without ceasing, according to First Thessalonians five seventeen. And Lord, I pray for this young man that you will continue to take him up higher, Lord, from faith to faith, from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, there 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 is decisions that in your life that you are are contemplating right now. Always remember this. In Matthew 6.33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, and everything else shall be added. So seek God first on the issue that you are facing at this hour right now. And God will direct your footsteps. He'll direct your path. We know that Amen. sometimes that there, there, there's, there when, the, when the issues of life, storms of life come about in our lives, uh, sometimes we, we don't have the answer. But we know the one that holds the answer. That's why we can face our tomorrow because of what he has already done for us. So we have to look on to the hills from which come our help. Our help coming from the Lord. And Lord, I touch and agree with him that the answer that he's seeking you for, that this week you'll give it to him. That once once and for all, he'll be settled on the matter that he's facing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Young man. Yes, sir. How how are you feeling right now? Well, I'm feeling much better. I really thank you, sir. I really appreciate you taking my call and, and praying for me. And, and it means a lot. Thank you very much. All right, all right. And we and we just asked that you. Uh, uh, my my uh, my wife gonna give you some information. Some okay. information concerning our uh, when I, when I, when I, our, our broadcast. It, it comes on every Tuesday and every Friday at 5 yes, p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay? Yes, and sir. we would appreciate it. And we would appreciate it that God placed it upon your heart to, to listen, that he'll give you words of encouragement through, 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 through broadcast. And would ask that, that you would tell others about it. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
All right. Any, anything else that, that, that I can help you with? No, no, sir. That's all. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you again, and God bless you all. All right. Thank you. Thank you, and God, and God bless you also. Praise, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good and worthy to be to be praised. You cannot read what you have not told. That is the topic that we are talking about today. And we are grateful and thankful for our, for our listener, amen, that we had a chance to pray with and for. We, we, we thank God because it encouraged us also to let us know that we are teaching and preaching on a local level and reaching a global level. Hallelujah. So, beloved, we serve a covenant-keeping God. Yes, here in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 38, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Remember, what I give you, you cannot receive. You cannot reap what you have not sown. So, beloved, the day of accountability shall come. So be careful of what and how you sow your seed. As a child of God, each time that God gives you the opportunity to bring your seed, he is looking for an avenue to bless you. Psalm 126, verse 5, says, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Whatsoever you sow is what you will reap. Remember, that there he is. An account in heaven open for you, and you will be given an account sooner or later. You see, the quality or quantity of what you sow will determine the quality and quantity of your harvest. Yes, child of God, know for certain that your seed cannot be lost according to Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 1. It says, Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Yes, my brother and sisters in Christ, the God that we serve, hallelujah, remember, as always, in 2024, life when I see song has no future. The seed of something, of anything, carries a future, the possibility, and the benefit. So, child of God, allow the principle of life to work in your favor. So, seeds that are beneficial to you and helpful to others, Again, I'm reminded of what Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 says, Be not deceived, God is not mouth. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So believe in Christ. Whatever one commits to do, commits to in life, it is very crucial, very important because it dictates what will come out of your life. This is because life, as we know it, is a seed. But we just hope and pray that was something that we say through the word of God here today, tonight, that will bring encouragement to your soul and will encourage you and exhort you to continue on 
in the things of God in 2024. We are grateful and we are thankful because the God that we serve is awesome. The God that we serve, he is a good God. He's a God that sits high, but look low. He's a God that neither slumber nor sleep. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Thank you for praying for us. Continue to pray for us on a daily basis. And have a blessed and prosperous, enjoyable, safe night. God bless you. God keep you. It's my prayer. Good night.